Hi, it's Malaysian girl Jean doing two laziest way. Oh, I mean easiest way to stir fry your greens. Any greens ah, lettuce ah, sawi ah, bak choy ah, some what else, nai pa ah, any greens lah. And it's only using three ingredients. The first type, just take your big knife and smack kau the garlic cloves until penyet like that. Huh. It's good to smack kau them like that because it's easy to remove the skin. And then, heat up some oil. Kasi char the penyet garlic. If you want to chingcha manchan the garlic, also can na. But ain't nobody got time for that. When char enough ready, in goes the greens. This one you just need to just saute for around 30 seconds. And then you will see it start to shrink for a little bit. And some water will be seen. That's when you drizzle some fish sauce. About one-ish tablespoon and then sprinkle a few dashes of white pepper mix well this takes around like 30 seconds or less than a minute like that lah. <laughs> and then it's done simple and goes very well with other dish lah. because say you have other dish that is quite flavorful so this is perfect lah. usually goes with white rice kanji or even fried rice all right, moving on to the next one. Now this one, just anggap I have shallots lah ha. I can't find shallots here, so I'm using these red onions. Imagine you have three bg of shallots, and then you slice them real thin, like how I did. And then it becomes like, you know, this kind of size. If you're using shallots, use 2 3 bg lah, huh? If you're using red onion like me, use 1 bg is enough. Put some oil. Okay, you need a bit more oil than usual so that it covers all the sliced onions or shallots. You have to keep stirring around because we want the heat to distribute evenly around and also won't be like burn here, burn there lah, if you know what I'm saying. And then this thing needs patience, yeah. Don't use maximum flame or maximum heat to fry the shallots or onions because they will burn easily. When you see it's like almost a golden golden onion, you quickly take it up or else it will continue cooking and then it will burn. Okay, do faster than me because I can already see some of mine burn already. Okay, I have hot water standing by the side there, so I just pour it in once I took out all the the fried onions and then I see like I uh, got sisa here and there so I use colander to scoop them out and then when the water is boiling already you can put in the veggies basically you just need to blanch it for about like 30 seconds uh, no need long because we still want the crunch and also the nutrients intact within the greens okay after 30 seconds you can already see the greens shrink but at the same time, they turn like somewhat greener. It's because of the oil that we used to fry the onions slash shallots earlier. The next step is to put about a tablespoon of oyster sauce on top of the veggie and sprinkle some of the fried onions slash shallots from earlier and then a few dashes of white pepper and there you go, it's done. You can serve it like this because it's pretty, right? But before you eat, you have to kacau macau lah. This one also same like just not that one whereby it can pair with almost anything rice congee blah 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 fresh greens are always best to be eaten the simplest way agree or not that's all for this time bye